Okay. Hi everyone, welcome to Facebook Friday Live once again. I am Caitlin Canoza, Account Manager for Flourish Digital Australia. So for today, our topic is all about Instagram. So this is actually for those of you who have Instagram accounts, but would like to grow your brand more and also add or increase your followers. So I'm going to give you five tips today on how to increase your Instagram engagement. So follow through. Okay, for our number one tip, it would be the use of relevant hashtags. So basically, a hashtag is a great way of increasing your exposure and engaging your audience by categorizing your content. But you know, sometimes people actually abuse the use of hashtags that in turn have the opposite effect on your audience. So make sure to be specific when using hashtags. So just for an example, for this photo, I have used the hashtag Aussie Hipster Cafe. Sometimes we would actually use hashtag cafe, but that's too generic. We have to be more specific than that. So it's better to just think of a more relevant one um, that would connect to whatever you're posting at the time. The next photo um, example would be this one. So some may actually use the hashtag left my heart in Bali, but some would actually use hashtag love, hashtag travel, hashtag Bali. It's just an overkill of the use of hashtags. So don't hashtag everything. Just make sure that it's not too long, but it's also not too clever. The other example that we have, oops, there you go. So for this one, sometimes a lot of people's mistakes is actually, you know, using a very long hashtag. Like this one, they used, I've never felt love like this before. It's just too long. Another example for this photo is hashtag, where could the next de destination be? Hmm. So it's just too long. It's very unique, but it's too long. So what happens is when Instagram tries to categorize your hashtag, probably you are the only one who are, who is actually using this ha that hashtag. So when the users or their subscribers are actually trying to look for inspirations and they wanted to know more about travel, they are actually not going to search for that hashtag. So better to keep it, keep it short, but keep it clever as well. Okay, for our number two tip for today, we have to interact with our subscribers. So basically when we're maintaining a feature account, it doesn't end with just posting photos, videos, or stories on your feed. You have to make sure that you reply to those who actually left a comment on your post simply by thanking them or addressing their concerns. Otherwise, if you are too busy for that day, um, the comment section actually has a love button on the right side. So it's just a simple gesture. If you don't have time to reply to their comments, then just click on that love button and it's on its way to go. You know, it's better to make your subscribers um, feel that they are actually appreciate, that you actually appreciate um, the time that they are, you know, um, taking to actually comment or like your posts. Our next tip, which is number three, is take advantage of Instagram insights. So one of the most important things to actually increase your engagement on Instagram is to really know who your audience are. So know more about their profile, and that's what Instagram Insights is for. So you can actually get the age, gender, what country do they live in, and what time of the day are they actually active. So when you already know all these profiles, you can already you know, create your content plan that matches these profiles of your subscribers. So at least it's more targeted, and you know how to actually put together like the content and yeah, invite them to keep on visiting your page. That's an example of the insights, Instagram insights page, if you're not familiar with it. And of course, our number four is to take it to the next level and use Instagram Live. So you've been posting photos, you've been posting videos, but you know, Instagram Live is totally different. Instagram Live, when you go live, um, your followers or your subscribers would really have would receive an instant notification that you actually got you're actually live. So basically that's already an attention grabber. You already got the attention of your subscribers and you just want them to just click on that um, icon on top and watch your video. Um, it also 
helps you deepen your relationship with your followers by actually connecting with them real time. And yeah, that's an example of the Instagram video. And the last one is to post some video content. So basically for this year in social media, video actually has been the spotlight. Um, and may it be like this example. Oops, sorry. Let me go back here. Yeah, so this is the boomerang of me. So it's a very short video or even a 10 second video. You can actually use it for Instagram. Um, it is actually a great way to say your story dynamically. But just make sure that it's actually clear, it's fun, it's engaging, it's very shareable. Um, so that your audience, when they actually relate to your story or relate to your video, they can definitely share it to their friends or to their other social media pages. And then you can increase your engagement on that page. So there you go. Uh, those are my five tips for today to increase your Instagram engagement. So we'll go through them again. We have number one, you have to use relevant hashtags. Number two, interact with your subscribers. Number three, take advantage of Instagram insights. Number four, take it to the next level and use Instagram Live. And number five, use videos for your Instagram posting. So if you have any questions about my topic today or you just want to leave a comment down below or probably you have a topic in mind that you want us to discuss in the next Facebook Friday Live, just leave your comments. And please don't forget to like this video and follow us on Facebook at Flourish Digital Australia. And if you love digital marketing just like we do or probably um, you would want to know more about it, please do drop, a, drop us an email at inquiries, hold on, at flourishworld.com.au. Again, inquiries at flourishworld.com.au. So those are my tips for today and have a happy weekend. Thanks. Bye.